So um, following up from the last example, we had um, four heads and six tails, and we want to get um, a certain number of runs. So in this video, we have um, exactly four runs. So remember that we have four heads and six tails. Alright, so uh, let's consider the cases. So you have, if you start with head, then you're going to have heads, tails, heads, tails, and that's four runs. Or if you start with a tail, then you're going to have tails, heads, tails, heads. So run one, two, three, and four. You have one, two, three, and four. And just like the last example, we're going to split this question into two. So the first part, we're going to have starting with heads. So heads, tails, heads, tails. And what you're going to do is split them up into X's. So X1, X2, x3 and x4 and now we have um, the sum of all of them so you get x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 that will be equal to 10 where 10 is the sum of all the heads and tails alright so they have all the x's, so x1, x2, x3, and x4 are greater than or equal to 0. So greater than or equal to 0. And we want to change that to greater than 0. So we go ahead and split the heads. So the heads are x1 and x3. So x1 and x3 are heads. You go x1 plus x3, that will be equal to 4. Remember that was given in the question. So x1 and x3 are greater than or equal to 0. So just like last time, you subtract 1 from each variable. So minus 1 and minus 1. And on the left hand side, you also subtract 1 for each. And that will leave you with y1 plus y3 that will be equal to 2 and here you have y1 and y3 are greater than 0 that was the whole point of doing all of this is to get rid of the equal sign here okay so um, any yi is equal to xi minus 1 okay so now we're done with the heads part. And now the tails, we have two tails. So two variables for tails. So x2 and x4. And because we have two, we're gonna do the same thing with it here. If you only have one variable, you don't have to do it. So you have x2 plus x4 is equal to 6. Once again, 6 is the number of tails. And x2 plus Oh, comma, sorry. x4 is greater than or equal to 0. Once again, you want to change it to greater than 0. And just like here, you subtract 1 from each. So, x2 minus 1, x4 minus 1, and then you subtract 1 on the right-hand side as well. Okay, so what we're going to have is y2 plus y4 is equal to 4. And the 4 is because you're subtracting 1 for each x, where y2 and y4 are greater than 0. And yi is equal to xi minus 1. Alright, so uh, what you're going to do is combine both cases. So if you combine this and that, 
you should get um for the for the number of heads you have um two remember n is the number of variables number of variables and r is the result and the formula is oops so the formula is n plus r minus 1 choose r so if you just replace the um, n's and the r's so for the first one you have two variables that's 2 and the result is 2 here's the result plus 2 minus 1 choosing the result which is again 2 so that's that takes care of this part here the heads and you have the tails left so you wanna do the same thing for that part so here you have the result no, variable 1, variable 2, and the result. So you have two variables, and the result is 4, then minus 1, and choose the result, which is 4. And in total, that will give you, so if you combine those two, you get 3, choose 2, times um, 5, choose 4. So this is the first case. So this is equal to the number of ways of getting exactly four runs starting with heads. So now we're going to do the same thing if we start with tails. So if you start with tails, you're going to have tails, heads, tails, heads. So now we're reversing everything with it here. So remember, over here we had x1 and x3 were heads, and x2 and x4 were tails. In this case here, we're going to have x1 and x3 to be tails, and x2 and x4 to be heads. So just like the last example, you have x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4. That's equal to 10, where 10 is the total number of ways of heads and tails. Um, and here you have x1, x2, x3, x4 or is greater than or equal to 0. But once again, you split them up into odds and evens. So the odds here represent uh, tails. And the evens represent heads. So x1 plus x3 is equal to um, 6. So you have 6 tails in total. And x1, x3 are greater than or equal to 0. So now you want to split them up into, you want to get rid of the greater than or equal sign. So you have y1 plus y3 is equal to 4. So just like, like last time, you just subtract 1 from each. So minus 1 and minus 1. You have minus 1 and minus 1. And for the even part, you get x2 plus x4 is equal to 4. Then you subtract 1 from each, you get y1, sorry, y2 plus y4 is equal to 2. And you have x2 um, and x4 is greater than or equal to 0 and the second part you have x2 and x4 are greater than 0 so it's y so y2 and y4 and same thing here you have y1 and y3 are greater than 0 so by taking those two parts here and combining them into the formula for combination with repetition you're gonna have n plus r minus 1 choose r so n is the number of variables so 2 plus 4 minus 1 
choose 4, where r is the result, multiplied by this part here, which is um, 2 plus 2 minus 1, choose 2. So 2 is the number of variables, uh, the second 2 is the result. And that will give you 5 choose 4 times 3 choose 2. So that's the number of ways of getting exactly 4 runs um, starting with tails. And the final answer is going to be um, this part here. So the final answer is going to be this plus that. So I hope this video made some sense and I'll see you in the next tutorial.